All right, we're back. Today we got some three weavers uh, doom scrolling, and this is a black logger conditioned on I don't know and Barana wood 5.2 percent. And let's see what it says on the back. It's late. You're probably stressed out, and you just can't stop consuming one negative news story after the next. Yes, we're talking about doom scrolling, and we're all guilty of it. But it's time to put down your device and drink this beer instead. A black lager, uh, both dark times and light. Uh, doom scrolling is crispy and dry up front with a slightly chocolatey finish, all rounded out by notes of warm vanilla and baking spices, thanks to a slow, cold conditioning on Brazilian Amberana wood. Sounds good to me. <coughs> I actually had this one yesterday at the brewery. Um, in California. I forgot which hood it was in, but let's see. Inglewood. Inglewood. <clears throat> Cheers. Now, the fridge got unplugged last night, so this is a warm beer. It is what it is. Drinking dark beer warm doesn't bother me one bit, though. Um, still, a lot of chocolate, a little bit of roast, and that wood character comes through very nicely. I have never heard of that wood, but goddamn, it leaves a nice finish on this beer. Mm -hmm. All right, let me clear that off. Today, we're gonna be using La Pierre Lucien, and this one is Cologne Fougere in a 3.4 ounce tub, perfect size. Three ounce tubs, you know that's my shit. I've stood on my soapbox about it over and over and over and over. I loaded off the tub today so you could see it's a little bit wet. I loaded my brush more or less. It comes in a tin like this. <clears throat> really nice. No dents whatsoever. I bought it at the Razor Company. Really good stuff. I loaded my uh, Dark Sanctum brush in the Ronin X shape. Uh, and then on top, we got AP Shave Co. Two Bed Synthetic Knot. Really nice synthetic knot. AP Shave Co. makes some of the fucking best synthetic knots. So I loaded my brush and I took it to my Sterling Collapsible Travel Bowl. And I created the rest of the lather like that. Whipped up very easily. It loaded easily. Uh, created a lather easily. I put in about three additions of water and it just looked like it was ready already. So, let's wet the face and get into it. <laughs> Had a, another really nice day with uh, Jack and John. And uh, hit up a few more breweries. Sorry about the water. Um, like I said yesterday, the drain doesn't uh, hold in this Airbnb. <clears throat> Alright. So... Yesterday we went and had, it was pretty much brunch. It was like a late, a late breakfast brunch type deal. But I, we were at like a market that had like a bunch of different food items. <laughs> and I went for some street tacos like right away. Cause I saw that they had barbacoa. I fucking love barbacoa. And I, um, I went for the barbacoa and Threw some onions, cilantro, green salsa, red salsa. All, I mean, just threw it all together. And it was fantastic. It tasted great. It wasn't too expensive. <clears throat> and then a few hours later, we had some more tacos for lunch. And all of this is before we went to the breweries. And something just fucking hit my stomach like a fucking Mack truck, dude. It put me kind of, it was ramping up as we were on our way to the brewery. And I just figured that I ate too much. I just figured I was kind of full. But it kind of left me like nauseous a little bit. So I think I got like a low level uh, food poisoning or something. Because it kind of knocked me out for like four hours. Or it, le it left me feeling <clears throat> kind of uneasy for about four hours, I should say. This leather's looking pretty good. It's got kind of like a medium structure, medium density. Um, 
This is a traditional shaving product, you know, I don't know how often that they update their soap. Um, but Le Pierre Lucien is a product out of France, I believe. Yeah, 100% uh, vegetal. So pretty interesting there. All right, we're all lathered up. I'm going to be using uh, John's Blackbird, Blackland Blackbird in Titanium. So he uh, he let me use it. He brought it with him on his travels. John from John Shaves. Definitely check him out. Also check out Jack from the Virtual Groom Room. Uh, I'm traveling with him. We're just having a fucking blast. And then I threw a Lada's blade inside. Super stainless. Never used Lada's before. So there's that. Picked it up at the Razor Company. It was double wrapped. So that's good. It's always nice to see blades double wrapped. So I've got a fresh blade in here and first use of the Blacklin Blackbird in titanium. And it looks like it has some great rinse ports underneath. You know, doesn't get much better than that. Kind of get a look at the head geometry there. Looks like it's got some nice lather channels there. Um, kind of a scalloped safety bar. Not necessarily open comb, but more of a Merker 34C scalloped style standard bar. The head's got like a little cant to it. You can kind of see those angular surfaces, but they're also rounded. So interesting design. You can see the uh, edge there where that's also kind of rounded off. Uh, interesting design. The handle, uh, it has these vertical um, indents, I, su I suppose, for grip. The grip doesn't seem like there would be a problem with grip, but I can tell you now, cleaning this bitch up would be kind of a pain in the ass, uh, in my opinion. Let's give this a go. Okay. All right, just getting a kind of a, getting a feel for it, initial skin feel. It's funny, I made the comment yesterday that, that I, I thought, and sorry about the water, it's just gonna be what it is. I know you guys aren't used to it. But I made the comment uh, to Jack and John yesterday because I've never used a uh, titanium razor before. That it almost felt like I was using a toy. Like when I picked it up. I'm so familiar with stainless steel double edge razors that when I picked it up and the weight wasn't there. I was like, what the fuck, dude? It, it felt like I was using a toy, like the lack of weight. I, it was instantly noticeable. Now I use Schick injectors all the time, but I'm familiar with the Schick injector weight and form factor. And they definitely Having a lightweight razor doesn't bother me. I've also took a um, carve aluminum for a spin in the past, and that didn't bother me whatsoever either. And so, the weight, you know, I've tried things with different weights, but I'm just used to using a razor with, um, a little bit more heft because I'm used to stainless steel razors. That's what I have in my collection and brass. So both kind of hefty. It's like 9 a.m. I'm on vacation. Nothing like having a very tasty breakfast beer while on vacation. So today is the day that I should be meeting up with uh, David from So Sharp David um, on YouTube and Instagram. A 
pillar in our wet shaving community. He's one of the guys that I used to watch when I um, started this hobby. <clears throat> Him and, you know, multiple others, but he was one of the ones that when I first started about six years ago, he was already a couple years in. And so just a dude that I respect a lot. And um, dude is just, he's a cool dude. He's a very knowledgeable dude. And he has plenty of experience to back that up. So I look forward to meeting him today, chopping it up, talking a little shaving, and then just getting to know each other better. One thing about uh, traveling and meeting community members is that he just strengthened those bonds of friendship and kind of kinship within a shared interest. And David is one to say that he doesn't like it when people say that um, it's just shaving because it's our hobby. It's, it's our lifestyle, you know, like we take this shit serious and it is, it is more than shaving for us anyways, you know, it might, it might just be shaving for some, but it's more than, it's more than that for us. I really like this, uh, Le Pierre Lucien. I've only ever used a sample of it, but it's a, uh, tried and true, trusted, traditional brand, and it was easy to lather, and I'm not having any problems whatsoever. Good slickness, medium density, um, back medium scent strength, and it's just like a pleasant, um, lightweight, uh, slightly green, slightly herbaceous, maybe just, maybe just a touch of citrus. It's, it's a pleasant, crowd-pleasing fougere, so... There's that. The Lada's blades uh, are feeling pretty nice too. I know I'm name dropping like crazy in today's video, but Lee Hazley, one of my viewers um, <clears throat> and fellow community member. And fellow beer lover. <laughs> uh, I believe he's the one who first mentioned Lotto's Blades to me. Not a bad recommendation, Lee. Not a bad recommendation at all. <clears throat> you can find Lee on uh, Instagram under Bad Lee Brood. Really cool dude. So, <clears throat> so far going against the grain with the Blackbird, feeling real nice. So I'll tell you this, it, it's, it's feeling like it has some decent uh, blade feel, which doesn't bother me, but you know, some people like a, a very um, mild feeling shave. You know, pretty much everybody wants their razor to be somewhat efficient. But, you know, for comfortable shaves, some people like more mild blade feel. And to each their own, I don't care. But I do not mind blade feel. It's probably one of the more blade feely razors that I've come across and it's not bothering me at all it still feels very comfortable good design non-threatening I should have uh, figured out the price tag I know that titanium is expensive there's just no two ways around it it's not an easy metal to work with But I'd say the hype about the quality of the Blackbird is on par. It seems like a very nice design <clears throat> as far as the, uh, the design of the head geometry. It gives a very nice shave. 
I don't know if I would throw down the money for a titanium. That's, that's just me, but perhaps they're stainless steel version. And I think this is a titanium with a machine finish because there's definitely machining marks. It's not like a flawless finish on this thing. But if it is a machine finish, then no big deal, really. All right, let's rinse some of this off and then we'll put on some poche ball. All right. I did enjoy that though. Excuse the water, please. <clears throat> All right, hopefully that wasn't too bad. <clears throat> I did enjoy that shape though. It felt very nice. Non threatening. It had more blade feel than I'm used to, but like I said, non-threatening, still a very smooth shave, very enjoyable. Um, I think that would be purchase worthy in like the stainless steel for me. I mean, you guys buy what you want to buy, but I don't think I would buy titanium. It looks nice. It looks real nice, but I think... Stainless steel is more my price range and more my more my speed there. I enjoy the heft. Whoa, excuse me. And I enjoy the heft. It's not so much like uh, let the razor do the work thing for me. I don't really I don't really believe that. I do the work, not the razor. I control the pressure. I control the weight. I, I do everything. I don't let the razor do the work. I do the work. So it's not so much of that, but I'm just used to and familiar with stainless steel and that heft. And so I think that price range is more attractive to me, more feasible for me. <clears throat> but damn, that was a very comfortable shave. I definitely see why people love it so much. We're going to go with some um, very reliable Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. Had this for a long time. I've almost got it killed off, to be honest. But no restrictor. You just kind of let it pour out easy and go down. Just do that. We'll get this pretty much everywhere. Put a little swipe up there. And this is good stuff. It's lightweight, soothing. It just has a very um, lightly scented, you know, pleasant scent. Real good stuff. A lot of people use this Nivea Men Poche Balm. It's good stuff. All right, so that was a very nice shave, very um, enjoyable shave, the Lapierre Lucien. Um, first time using like a full puck of it, really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. I think it's a great travel product because it loads easy, it fucking creates a lather easy, and it's decent quality stuff. The Lada's Blade, first time using Lada's, very, very enjoyable. Um, they kind of felt like maybe like a Gillette Platinum or something like that. Um, they f they feel familiar to what I use on a regular basis, like the Wizomet blades, the Gillette Platinum blades. Felt kind of like that, and I, I enjoyed it. And then last but not least, the Blackland uh, Titanium uh, Blackbird, and that was also very, very enjoyable. Got a flawless shave, it feels close. Yeah, nothing to complain about. That was a good one, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers, guys. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you on the next one.